Mr. Tan, what exactly is medical imaging? Physicians needed a faster, less invasive way of seeing what is going on inside the human body. It was very time consuming and often required surgery to see what was going on. We have the ability to look at a cross section of a bone, but it required looking at hundreds and sometimes thousands of cross sections to get a sense of what was going on. With medical imaging, we engineered a way to assemble all of those cross sections of CT or MR scans into a continuous 3D image. The 3D image allows us to fly through the image. In this case, we are flying through the marrow in a patient's vertebra. What other areas are you working on? Medical imaging can play a big role in cardiac surgery. Today, when someone has a heart attack, the current way to explore the problem is a surgical procedure called cardiac catheterization. This procedure uses an injection of radioactive dye from the femoral artery in the leg into the heart to see what the blood vessels are and the extent of the blockage. Imagine being able to fly around and through the heart without the surgical procedure. Looking at a human heart and examining blood vessels on the surface of the heart to see if there is a blockage that causes a heart attack. Here we see one. The surgeon also has the ability to zoom out and to rotate 360 degrees. The surgeon can even fly through a blood vessel for a closer look. Now we will jump from life-saving images to magical entertainment. From Wake Forest Medical School to Out of Our Minds Animation Studios, where magical characters come to life in 3D animation. In 3D animation, we need the wireframe to rotate the character around and to give them a sense of shape in this 3D space. It's not just a flat cartoon. It's more like if we were to walk around the character with a video camera. This gives us that freedom. And we're also able to take that wireframe and send it to a printer, just as you'd send a photo to the printer. And uh, that's where we get these little characters. And this helps us to further make sure that we're more comfortable uh, with the, the final shape before we start animation. What do you do to make it look like the character? Well, once we've got the shape developed uh, in wireframe, we can then paint it uh, just as you'd paint a, a character and add accessories and clothes and uh, just de develop it just as a, a final character ready for animation.